Hello and welcome to the Craft Beer Corner. For today's review, we've got a really, really good one I am very much looking forward to doing. Um, today we're doing a Key Lime Pie beer review. And yes, that's right, Key Lime Pie. There are indeed enough Key Lime Pie flavored beers out there that I have enough to do two in the same review. And indeed, these are actually the fourth and fifth I will have had respectively. So it is a reasonably popular beer flavor. I have enjoyed immensely uh, the prior three that I've had, and I'm looking forward to jumping into two new ones. Uh, as a Tampa, Florida uh, based reviewer here, I can tell you this Florida man's uh, favorite pie in the world is indeed key lime pie. It's very special and it does translate very well into the medium that is beer. So, we're going to be uh, starting with Two Tom's Brewing's Tiki. This is a key lime pie flavored sour ale. They're based in Fort Wayne, Indiana. This one clocks in at 4% ABV, so uh, on the lighter end. Um, brewed with key limes, vanilla, graham crackers, and lactose. And then uh, moving to beer number two, uh, we've done some recently. Here they are again, Weldworks Brewing out of Greeley, Colorado. This is their key lime pie Berliner. This is a Berliner Weisse that clocks in at 4.2% ABV, the exact same additive ingredients, key lime, vanilla, graham cracker, and lactose. So uh, a very exciting review for me today, and I hope that you will get some good quality information on your personal takeaway, and uh, hopefully you can get out there and find yourself some key lime pie beers. They're absolutely delicious, and I can't wait to try new ones. So we're gonna get started with Two Tom's Brewing's Tiki, that clocks in at 4% ABV. Okay, so jumping right into the first beer of today's Key Lime Pie flavored beer review. Uh, I can't wait. We've got Two Tums Brewing's Tiki. This is a sour ale, clocks in at 4%, based in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And this one has key limes, uh, vanilla, lactose, and graham crackers. Same additive ingredients bill to recreate key lime pie in beer form. Uh, this is also the first beer I will have ever had from Two Toms, so equally exciting. I get to drink uh, my favorite pie in beer form, two I've never had, and uh, a new beer from a new brewer. So to kick things off, uh, starting with label art, it's uh, really kind of got you in the mood. It's, it's very green, as is key lime pie. Um, if you've never had key lime pie, uh, it is one of life's simple pleasures. Uh, I am in Tampa, Florida, and uh, not that far from uh, the Keys, and uh, key limes are something very special. It is my favorite pie by an absolute mile, uh, to the exclusion of all others, in fact. I won't eat pie unless it's key lime. It's just a magical combination of ingredients. And this is beer number four that I've had now, key lime pie flavor, and it does work very well in a beer, especially a nice sour beer, which this is a sour ale. So today I'm using uh, what one of my brothers got me for Christmas uh, from the Sierra Nevada uh, brewery in Mills River when I was visiting my folks in Asheville, uh, this awesome can-shaped Sierra Nevada glass that's got a lot of their beer names on it. Very, very cool. First time I've used it, so it's inaugural break-in. So we're getting this poured, and that is just stunningly bright green. It really does look the color of key lime pie. I mean, it, it just looks fantastic. It absolutely looks fantastic. Very effervescent. It's a sour ale. This one did form a pretty big head here, but I imagine that's going to settle itself out of the way. And I can tell you, I can smell it, and I'm a good foot and a half, two feet from this beer. It's got a very pronounced aroma. I can smell that key lime just wafting up to my nose, and it smells absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. And um, you can really pick up the sour and the tart, which key limes are naturally, they're more tart than sour, but they have a little bit of both. And that's really coming off quite strongly on the aroma on this beer. So that head's already getting out of the way. Visually, I mean, it's bright green, just like a key lime. It, it looks absolutely the part. Let's give it a sniff right over the glass. Oh, that smells fantastic. Oh, that absolutely smells fantastic. Yeah, you can smell the key lime so absolutely clearly on the nose of this beer, and it's mixing with this nice sour and tart. And indeed, this is a sour ale, but the tart side, aromatically even, 
uh, just like with a key lime and its flavor, is really what's more dominant. There's some sour underneath, but it smells a lot more tart than it does sour. So I have very high hopes for this one. So without further ado, that head is already completely out of the way. Basically, just a tiny little floater rim. There's nothing on the top. I don't know if the camera can see that. Just a little rim on the sides. But let's jump right in. Mmm. 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 Oh, absolutely, yes. Wow. Wow. Oh, I tell you, every time I have a key lime pie beer, it just blows my mind. It must be... I, I got a backpedal here because I was going to say something that I don't actually believe to be true. I don't know if it's a particularly easy flavor combination to come up with in a sour beer. All brewers, all craft brewers put in a lot of work to make the delicious beer that they bring to us to enjoy. But I like how inventive they are and that there's multiple key lime pie flavored beers out there in the world. Uh, we are absolutely spoiled for choice. Uh, number four, key lime pie. And every time I, I have a sip and I say, wow, that absolutely nailed it. This truly does taste like key lime pie in beer form. Uh, very dominant is the key lime. And indeed, what I picked up in the aroma is also translating into the flavor. Yes, there's sour here, but it's far more tart than it is sour. So it matches the natural tendency of a key lime. They're, they're small little limes. They're not like a big dark green lime. They're very bright green, a lighter green shade, very similar to this beer. They pretty much look like that and they're small and they tend to be more round than oval. They're uh, petite sized fruit and they are very unique in the citrus world. It's got a very distinct flavor to it. It's completely different from a regular lime. It is distinctly its own animal and it is a key lime. And uh, one of the many perks of living in Florida is access to key limes and key lime pie year round. So I, I feel a bit spoiled but I'm absolutely loving it. I'm gonna jump in for a body and mouthfeel and think on this delicious flavor again. The body on this is very, very light, very light. It's a sour ale, it's 4%. That's pretty much what you expect. What perhaps you would not expect is, even though it's a sour ale, and it's 4% ABV, it's got some resistance to it. It's actually got a, a bit of a resistant mouthfeel. I wouldn't call it viscous so much as I would call it resistant. It's not syrupy, it's not thick, but it has a lot more resistance to it than you would anticipate for a sour ale at 4%. It's, um, it's, it's not flat by any stretch of the imagination. It doesn't feel the same consistency of water. It has resistance to it. True, to sour ale fashion, um, on the back end, there is a little bit of a drying effect. Though it's not super pronounced on this beer, it does produce a nice crispness, a nice clean crispness to the end of the finish. Which on this one, it's a sour ale. Sour ales kind of run all over the board. I would put this one kind of somewhere in the middle of the pack in terms of finish. It's not very truncated and it's not particularly elongated. It's kind of right in the middle, average. You get a good bunch of flavor and it finishes off, dice, 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 little drying, Christmas, and it's gone. There's just the faintest whisper of key lime that still lingers on the palate, but it's, it's, it's subtle. It's positively subtle. Absolutely delicious beer. I cannot overstate that enough. This beer is absolutely delicious. They have absolutely 100% captured key lime pie in beer form and done just one heck of a job with it. Absolute heck of a job. I'm gonna jump in again here uh, for balance and think on this just a bit more. Enjoy this delicious beer. Oh, it's so good. The key lime pie is the number one most present flavor. You do get the graham cracker mixing with the malt bill. It's quite clearly graham cracker. You can't taste it quite clearly. You taste the malt bill, but you taste the graham cracker. And the vanilla really is kind of floating as just like that dollop of whipped cream. If you've never seen a key lime pie, uh, typically 
they are ringed with whipped cream on the outside and it is most often vanilla flavored. So it's a key lime pie, which the base of this ingredient, I don't know how best to describe it. If you've ever had a lemon square, uh, also one of my favorite desserts, it's uh, that same consistency. It's, it's not pie filling, it's, it's thicker than that. It's got a thickness to it and it almost, oh gosh, how do you describe key lime pie to somebody who's never had it? Uh, it's bright green, <laughs> it tastes of key limes, which are distinctly their own unique fruit, and it's got a thick center to it. It's not pudding, it's not custard. It's almost, if you were to hybridize the filling of a southern pecan pie, that thickness to it and that same textural consistency, it's that, but it's key lime pie flavored. It's that same consistency. It's got a thickness to it, and it's just so beautiful. They really positively nailed key lime pie in beer form. I could not be happier with this beer. I'm going to take my time, sip on this, enjoy every last drop of this. When we come back, we will get to beer number two of today's key lime pie beer review, and that is Weldworks Brewing Key Lime Pie Berliner, which is a key lime pie Berliner Weisse that clocks in at 4.2% ABV. Okay, jumping into the second beer of today's Key Lime Pie flavored beer review, we have got Worldworks Brewing's Key Lime Pie Berliner. This is the Berliner Weisse that clocks in at 4.2% ABV. They're based out of Greeley, Colorado. The exact same ingredients bill as the first beer. Key limes, vanilla, graham crackers, and lactose, which is really what you need to make a Key Lime Pie beer. Uh, one thing I, I, I have mentioned this before in prior videos, but I do want to uh, just make a reference Maybe uh, some people would at least understand. You'll notice I say Berliner, Berliner Weisse. Uh, that is the word, the city of Berlin, pronounced in German, is pronounced Berlin. And there's a very famous misquote by President JFK, who uh, you know was making his speech in German to the people of Germany, saying, Ich bin ein Berliner, was what he said, which he thought meant, I am a Berliner, I am one of you. But a Berliner, pronounced Berliner, is really, it's a pastry. It's a jelly-filled type of donut. Berlin is the name of the city. So a person from Berlin is a Berliner. So it is indeed a Berliner Weisse, a white beer out of the city of Berlin. Um, but nonetheless, let's jump right in. Starting with label art, uh, not really much, so to speak. It's got a very clean label design, very brightly colored, dominated by orange and in this light key lime green on the can. So it uh, gets me in the mood. So we're going to get this cracked and pour it right into the glass. All right, pouring in. Okay, so this one's not green like the last beer, but no no problem at all. It does look the color of a standard Berliner Weisse, a very light straw, pale yellow color. I'm loving this glass, by the way. I really am loving this glass. All right, we're going to let that settle. Did form a little head that's going to get out of the way very quickly. It's very effervescent, as most sours are, and Berliner Weisse, Weisses are sour beers. Yeah, just a beautiful, beautiful light pale straw yellow color. It's absolutely lovely in this glass. It looks fantastic. Head's already completely out of the way. There's a tiny bit of cling from bubbles on the side, but that's all you're going to see here. Let's give it a sniff. Oh, yeah. Oh, that smells absolutely fantastic. I can tell you on this one, not only does it smell like a classic Berliner Weisse, so you're getting all of these sour and tart aromas that come up front. That key lime is very present. It just jumps out of the glass. But in tandem with that, I can 100% smell the vanilla and I can smell the graham cracker in this one. So I can smell all of the additive ingredients and they're really making their presence known. It's really getting me excited. I mean, it smells like key lime pie. This positively smells like key lime pie. And believe me, that is just one of the most wonderful things in the world. I mean, I know I already told you I love it. It is the best pie in the world for my money. And it's not just because I've lived in Florida most of my life, but it, it is just insanely good. If you've never had key lime pie, please do yourself the favor, just go buy one. Um, you can get it if you don't live anywhere near Florida, uh, go to the grocery store. There's a brand that they sell, I think nationwide called Edwards. Edwards makes a lot of really good pies. Their key lime pie is probably the best 
uh, that I've had. If you're getting from a brand you can get anywhere that you're not in the state of Florida or nearer to the Keys, there's this fantastic classic graham cracker crust. Uh, it's bright green, you can't miss it, and it's got the vanilla cream all around the edge. It's a really very well done key lime pie that would make anybody from the Keys proud. It really is delicious. But nonetheless, I'm gonna jump right in to this delicious key lime pie berliner. Let's do it. Mmm. 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 Oh. Oh. Oh man. It's so good. It's so good and I gotta say this. Okay, so. The key lime pie of both of these beers is perfectly clear. It's perfectly evident. But I have to say this because I am really astounded by just how well both of these beers are done. And I don't just mean because I love key lime pie, which I absolutely do. I love key lime pie. But they both, while they taste like key lime pie, the base beer style that they're representing themselves in is 100% fully present. And this one, even more so. The balance of ingredients for the key lime pie is a little bit different than on the first beer. And all of the ingredients really do speak, but on this one, it's, it's interesting. The flavors kind of come and they hit you in pockets. So the first thing you get is very clear, tart, sour up front, and it's Berliner Weisse sour tart. So it's not quite as intense as just a standard sour ale. But you do get that up front and it's very dominant key lime pie. That immediately gets out of the way. Two, three seconds, just big, bold key lime pie mixing sour tart and then a rush of both graham cracker and vanilla in equal parts and it's just bombarding you and mixing with that key lime pie. And then you are getting every base ingredient and you can taste them so clearly in this beer. I cannot, I cannot overemphasize how impressed I am by the balance of this beer. They both are fantastic, but this one in particular, you can really, truly pick out the individual ingredients just so crystal clearly. And they come in these big punches of, ooh, there's key lime, ooh, there's graham cracker, ooh, there's vanilla, which is the cream on the, th oh man, it is just so good. I wish you could taste these beers. Honestly, I hope that you get your hands on them so you can taste them. But man, I am absolutely loving every bit of this review. Every bit of it. I'm gonna jump in for body and mouthfeel. Think on this flavor development some more. Uh, God, this is just so good. It's just so good. Body and mouthfeel on this are perfect for the style. It's a very light body. The mouthfeel has just the slightest suggestion of resistance, but overall, it's not much difference than the consistency, consistency of water, which is typical with the Bear Leaner Weisser. They're not high ABV beers. This is not 4.2. It's equal to a very popular blue canned American adjunct beer that people drink all the time. Um, same ABV <laughs> as that one. And, um, you know, I'd rather be drinking this any day of the week. And I'm not a hater. I drink big box beer as well. I do. Uh, you know, you're in the mood for this. You're in the mood for that. Drink what you like. I'm, I'm not a beer snob. I'm a beer connoisseur. I like all types of beer. And that includes non-craft. I have nothing against big box beer. Do I think it's made with the same... Uh, you know, real ingenuity that craft beer is absolutely not, but I'm never going to knock it. Drink what you like. If you get to buy cheaper beer that you truly enjoy to to drink, then bully for you. I, I mean, to each their own. But I got to say, this this absolutely is delicious. It is absolutely delicious. The body and mouthfeel are exactly right. The aroma, you could pick everything up in the aroma and it just comes through in even greater force in the flavor. This is a very big flavor profiled Berliner Weisse. Berliner Weisses are kind of this weird redheaded stepchild of the sour realm. Like yes, they're sour, yes, they're tart, but they're kind of this weird kind of, you know, off kilter. It's this weird subcategory of sours. It's not exactly sour. It's not exactly tart. It's in this weird 
floating around because they're very malty as well. And Berliner Weisses share a lot of traits with Gosses. Um, and both of those are German beer styles, traditional German beer styles. These obviously came out of the city of Berlin. But uh, this is almost an exact replica of the same qualities that you get in a Goza malt bill. So you're getting these very baked good like qualities. So there's this breadiness, this toastiness, this, this crumb like quality, this biscuit like quality to the malt bill that's underneath the, just these gigantic, big, bold key lime pie flavors. And honestly, that helps give even more of a foundation upon which for this beer to stand because that is a great foundation for ingredients and characteristics that you would think of a pie crust. And of course, key lime pie uses graham cracker, but just think of a standard pie crust. But even that, even though it's graham cracker, having these baked good uh, malt bill flavors that really come through quite clearly as well, really just accentuates kind of the crust side of it, which is a flavor that's easy to get lost because key lime is a very pungent flavor. And it's obviously playing on this natural sour and tart side of the beer. And it's very pronounced and it's just positively delicious. Honestly, I honestly wish you could taste what I'm tasting right now. I am loving every bit of this beer, both beers. I mean, just, this has been one of the most absolutely enjoyable reviews I've done. And I've, I've reviewed many, many delicious beers, but this one is just absolutely fantastic. I am loving both of these beers. Um, really fantastic. I'm going to jump in for one more sip, think about the finish, and just final thoughts on this flavor development. The balance is just superb. I'll say that before I even jump back in. The balance is superb. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. God, it really is just so good. Key lime pairs with that punch of sour tart. And it holds there three, four, or five seconds. Then immediately, boom, I'm getting hit with graham cracker. It's just like full force coming out of nowhere. Boom, graham cracker. That's holding three, four, or five seconds. And then out of the opposite side, boom, there's that vanilla coming in for that whipped cream kind of topping, that garnish that's on the key lime pie. And now they're all just marrying. It's key lime, it's graham cracker, it's vanilla. It tastes like key lime pie in beer form. Just another one that they absolutely positively nailed it. I absolutely love this beer. I'm going to take my time enjoying every last drop of this one. When we come back, we will get both beers ranked from top to bottom. Okay, now that we've gotten to thoroughly enjoy both of these truly delicious beers, we're going to get them ranked. Starting with the Two Toms Brewing's Tiki. This is the key lime pie flavored, uh, just sour ale, not uh, substyle specific. 4% ABV on this one based out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. And uh, this one, as do both beers, had key lime, vanilla, graham cracker, and lactose. Starting with the aroma. The aroma on this beer was positively huge, not just for a sour, but for a beer in general. You could smell it from a couple feet away, and it was very clearly key lime pie. It smelled fantastic gets a 10 out of 10. The taste was equally as enjoyable as the aroma kind of sets you up for. And it truly did taste like key lime pie in beer form. I mean, I can't emphasize just how good this is. If you like key lime pie and you like beer, you owe it to yourself to get your hands on beers like these. Just phenomenal, perfect 10 out of 10. For the body. The body on this beer was uh, pretty good. It was um, quite a bit, lighter really than I anticipated just based on the flavor profile, but overall it was well above average and in spec for the type of beer and for the ABV range, just 4%. So it's not that huge. The body didn't present itself that huge, but it was still a little bit less big than I anticipated. Still well above average though. It gets an 8 out of 10. Mouthfeel, similar story. Um, this one had uh, very much more or less what I expected. If anything, it had slightly more resistance than I anticipated, but it wasn't out on any far swinging into the spectrum. Here as well, it gets an 8 out of 10. For the finish, the finish on this beer was impressively long. Um, sours, 
you don't normally have the longest finish and they tend to have a little bit of crispness, a little dryness to the end. This was no exception, but the flavors were very big and bold and pungent and they really helped extend the length far longer than your average. Uh, this one gets a nine out of 10. For the head and retention, uh, this one was very effervescent. It did form a head to start, but within about 20 seconds, if it took that long, it was pretty much entirely out of the way. It gets an eight out of 10. Appearance, this was a positively lovely beer. Bright key lime green, <laughs> it really looked stunning. It gets a 10 out of 10. Balance, the balance on this beer was fantastic. It really, really was. The balance of not only the sour and the tart and how they paired all of the base ingredients together. Really for me, the only thing that I found myself thinking in the back of my mind, as delicious as it was, and as well as they nailed key lime pie, um, just perhaps find a means to bring up the graham cracker quality and the vanilla side for the cream, but you could taste them all. I just would have liked a little more emphasis on that to balance uh, equally and evenly with the key lime, but all flavors were present, it was delicious. It gets a nine out of 10. Filling in the intangible, I loved it. I thought it was a fantastic beer. Um, I loved every bit of this beer, I, I truly did. Subjectively, 10 out of 10. Finally, as an example of the style, uh, boy, there's a lot of sour beers out there, a lot of different flavored sour beers. This is a very, very good one, and uh, I'll come back to this. If you're a fan of Key Lime Pie and you like beer, uh, you owe it to yourself to try some of these. These are my fourth and fifth Key Lime Pie flavored beers I've had respectively. All of them have been superb. This, as an example of the style, gets a nine out of 10, which brings the total score on two Thomas Brewing's Tiki to a 91 out of 100, which is obviously well above average, and absolutely, I, I die hard believe that if you like the pie, you're gonna love this beer. It's well worth your time seeking to get your hands on it. Moving to beer number two. This is Wildworks Brewing Key Lime Pie Berliner, a uh, Key Lime Pie flavored Berliner Weisse. 4.2% ABV on this one based out of Greeley, Colorado, and the exact same added ingredients. So starting with the aroma. The aroma on this beer was fine. It was above average for a Berliner Weisse, but it was nowhere near the pungency of the first one. Once I got down over it, I could really smell everything. It was clearly key lime pie, and uh, it, it was above average. It gets a seven out of 10. For the taste, the taste on this beer was uh, really superb. I mean, both of these, they were delicious. They tasted exactly as advertised, key lime pie in beer form. And this one was very clearly a key lime pie Berliner Weisse. I absolutely loved it. They nailed it. Gets a perfect 10 out of 10. For the body, the body on this was a little bit more robust than your average Berliner Weisse in this ABV range, but it wasn't overboard. I gave it top marks, it gets a 10 out of 10. Mouthfeel was a similar story. It was pretty much exactly what I expected. It gets a 10 out of 10. For the finish, the finish on this beer was quite long for a Berliner Weisse, though it wasn't quite as long as on the first beer, um, but certainly well above average for the style. And for the same reason, it extended it out. Just the pungency of the added ingredients notably that key lime. It gets an eight out of 10. For the head and retention, uh, this one was a similar story to the first beer, but it got out of the way a bit quicker. It tried to form a head very quickly. It moved completely out of the way. It gets a nine out of 10. Appearance, while this one was not bright green, it was still equally beautiful, looked exactly as a bear leaner vice it should. It gets a perfect 10 out of 10. For the balance, the balance on this beer was exceptional. Um, the tiny little nitpicks I had on this first one were uh, completely eliminated in this one. All of the additive ingredients for that key lime pie flavor were perfectly balanced and they all came through perfectly clearly. I didn't find myself wanting more lime, graham cracker, or vanilla. It was beautiful, it gets a 10 out of 10. Feeling in the intangible, I loved it. I loved both beers. This one also gets a perfect 10 out of 10. Finally, as an example of the style, a very, very well done Berliner Weisse especially for the flavor, and they absolutely nailed key lime pie. They absolutely did. This one lost a few points, really, if it had had just a little bit more pronounced aroma and maybe just a slightly longer finish from the pungency of those ingredients, it would have made the top mark, but it only missed it by one for me. It gets a nine out of 10 as an example of this style, which brings the total score on Wellworks Brewing Key Lime Pie Berliner to a 93 out of 100. So we're looking at a total whopping two points between the two, a 91 and a 93. And I cannot overstate enough just how absolutely fantastic both of these beers were. If you like key lime pie, I highly recommend they are both well worth seeking to get your hands on. Folks, that's today's review. As always, I do sincerely appreciate you tuning in today. 
Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to stay in the loop when our videos go live to YouTube, you just click the little notification bell icon. It is right next to the subscribe button. Until next time, keep it beer, keep it craft. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.